We're not answering any questions. That's okay. I have no question. That's right. I'm about to monologue, son. You better make it quick. You only got eight minutes. Alright then. Let me paint you a picture. I'm Philip, a successful periodontist that's become addicted to diazepam. I started by tape because I'm a junkie scum. Also for real, your addiction is a disease. I wouldn't be super empathetic if you hadn't murdered a man. What is the point of this? I'll get there. So one day I'm working late when my boss Robert surprises me. He found out I was stealing meds. Again, junkie scum. Also again, not your fault. There's a major genetic component to addiction. He says he's gonna follow the police report. I could lose my license. We find something even just now. So I grab the first thing I can find and hit him with it. You still have no murder weapon. I do now. Here's a picture I found on Yelp of the surgical suite six months ago. And here's a shot that our crime scene photographer took of the same room two weeks after the murder. Notice any differences? We're not answering that. That's alright, I can just tell you myself. The Yelp shot has six of these heavy looking glass awards from the Book and Periodontic Society in the background. Whereas this shot only has five. What happened to number six? You murdered Robert with it. I didn't. You lost all control and buzzed to me dead. There must have been blood everywhere, but you got lucky. You were in the surgical suite, it can be sterilized. You never would have gotten away with it in your carpeted office. That's not what happened. Don't say anything more, Philip. And your office manager would have heard all the screaming, but she was at her grandson's plate. Lucky again. You're wrong. You put Robert's blood to wheelchair shoved in the elevator. It's a miracle there wasn't blood everywhere. That's not true. Now you're in a garage with a corpse and you don't have your car keys, but Robert's turned his pockets, you put him in his car and you take off. No. You can't believe what you've done. No. Philip. You're flushed. You have no GPS, so you just start driving. No. Next thing you know, you're in the pine birds and it hits you. Your uncle's cabin. He has a place there. You're the luckiest son of a- It wasn't luck. Yes it was, you got lucky in every turn. No, I knew exactly where I was driving. I left my phone in the office on purpose and I was in the surgical suite by design. And I didn't need some glass award that any idiot would clearly see is missing. I made a rod out of a special dental polymer, killed him with it, and then melted it back. It's all in the patient's mouth.